Many years ago, I came across a quote from Kurt Koitzer, who's a professor at Berkeley, also a former CTO of Synopsys. And basically, the, the, the quote I'm going to paraphrase is, to solve any really hard problem, like IC design, there's only two real solution paths, hierarchy and abstraction. And in this section, I want, want to go through with you how Isilon actually uses both approaches to deliver a solution to your IC design productivity needs. Now, let me start with really describing how in general, some, some of our competitors work in terms of their architecture. Typically what you have is a head unit or a couple of head units which then drive traffic out onto the network. And underneath that rests the drives. And so maybe they'll be called shelves or trays, but essentially they contain storage. They can contain disk drives. And the communication always goes through the head units. And so as that communication progresses, I think you can see the problem. The problem is you've only got two head units up there. And as you add more and more bays or shelves of storage, all of that goes through those same two head units. So what does that lead to? Well, just to draw it out, it leads to a saturation point. That saturation point, we've seen actually some IC design teams analyze and strategize around. For example, one of the customers we work with, they limit the use of any other vendor's equipment to a certain number of trays. The reason for that is they don't want to get into this range where they're not getting higher I.O. performance. So what does that mean? Actually, let me tell you what that means. It means that when they go to add storage, they don't just add a tray. They have to replicate the whole environment. That's obviously additional cost and additional complexity and downtime. You can't scale that within 10 seconds or 30 seconds the way that adding a node of Isilon storage would, would require. So what we do, which is actually quite different, is we don't have the same concept of a head unit with everything flowing in through it. Each of our nodes carries with it CPU and memory in addition to the storage, every one of them. So that as you add additional capacity, you're actually adding additional CPUs and additional memory. And that's a very powerful concept. So therefore, with Isilon, this graph would look something like this. A linear progression. As you add more storage capacity, you also add more performance. And we can give you flexibility around that concept. If you want to add capacity without adding performance, we have nodes that just simply carry the storage. If you want to add performance without adding storage, we can do that as well. We have what we call accelerator nodes that offer CPU and memory. So we can help you to customize according to the design challenge, according to your workflow, what the right combination of storage, performance, and capacity in terms of memory, uh, how that can be allocated. In fact, with our S series, one of the most powerful things for IC designers is that the S series, which I mentioned before has 12,000 IOPS per node, also carries with it the ability to have a very large coherent cache. So we can support today up to 1.2 terabytes of globally coherent cache in a single cluster. And that's critically important. So if you need to load in lots of data, large design databases, lot, large rule files, large libraries, that can all be done within that globally coherent cache, further speeding the file, o, file operations into your EDA environment. So we think that this combination of flexibility, performance, and scalability is unmatched in the industry and clearly leads to a lot of advantages to you as a designer. So just to kind of map it out, if you're in the simulation or physical implementation space, such as synthesis or place and route, our X series product is directly optimized to help you. The X series product uh, features very high concurrent throughput. So as you have multiple design teams, maybe geographically disparate even, operating upon that data, or you're in place and route, you need somebody to do routing estimation that needs to feed into the floor planning function. The floor plan may be based on a preliminary placement. All of those tasks might be done by different people in your design team operating on fundamentally the same data. High concurrent throughput allows that to happen uh, at the best possible speed. As you get down into physical verification, we have a product called the S-Series, 
And S series is again optimized for very high I.O. performance. And so if you need the highest possible I.O. performance, specifically as we found with DRC, that does require that level. So the ability to scale up capacity and performance together addresses directly that uh, design cycle time reduction. And as I mentioned, we've seen customers achieve close to a 50% design cycle time reduction, specifically in DRC, because of that high I.O. performance capability of the S-Series. And then finally, many design teams operate off of a design repository or an IP database. And those are really critical functions. So whether it's for uh, archiving designs as they complete, or being able to quickly access or resurrect designs to make minor modifications, we have what we call the NL series. And the NL series is optimized for nearline archiving. And that nearline archiving, we can perform very cost effectively for design IP repositories. Because again, they have special needs. You don't need the highest IO performance or the highest concurrent throughput. You need very cost effective nearline storage that's integrated with the rest of your flow. And that's where Isilon ties it all together with what we call our 1FS operating system. So 1FS is the glue that makes the management and the overall infrastructure quite easy to manage, quite easy to adapt. So whether it's you know in specific parts of the design flow or an overall CAD infrastructure that you're trying to create for your company, Isilon's capabilities range the full uh, breadth of what your, what your challenge is. So I'd like to encourage you to, of course, obviously visit our website and take a look at some of the specific features of each of these products. But the bottom line is, when you look at architectures between storage environments and really look into it, what you'll find is that Isilon offers a direct uh, and very accessible capability to achieve your goals. Other environments, in fact, may actually work against you. So with that in consideration, let's move on to our summary.